Hello Aries, what's up with you? In the house, what's up with you? What's up with you? You know, um, I want to tell y'all thank you for joining. Let me turn this mic off. I forgot I had it on because, you know, you try not to be too loud, but sometimes you can be loud. Okay. Now, sorry about that. Well, how's everybody doing? I hope y'all doing lovely, sanctified, and great, and living life to the fullest. Let me tell you something. Don't live that short-lived life, because you got to say you've done everything you want to do before you leave here, because you won't be proud of yourself. You say less, then you won't be proud of yourself. And I'm going to be proud of myself. Trick chat, I'm going to be proud of myself. I don't know about you, but I love being proud of myself. People say, oh, you was outrageous. Well, we're going to ask four questions. I want to know, first of all, what was you in a past life? Okay. And then we're going to go in details. And we're going to start with Aries. This is not for, this is not for individual. This is for everybody. So put it into what, that you can make it fit. That's okay with me. Okay. But if it don't fit you, don't, it's not your story, then don't mess with it. Okay? But anyway, I want to tell y'all how. Y'all need to subscribe to it, girl. Let's, we better rock it up on this channel. I don't care. I'm tired of being the one on the low pro. I need some people to, y'all gonna follow me, you gonna sit around and watch me. Let's get some stuff done. Okay, and I send love and light to all y'all. Okay? In a past life, okay, let me get my, hold on, let me get my, every time I get ready to start something, somebody say, hold on, your glasses. But I want to tell y'all, thank you again for joining me. I want to say thank you. I love all of y'all. Love and light to everyone. I don't have no bad feelings against no one. If you don't like terror, it won't hurt my feelings. It's just what you don't like. You know, everybody got their preferences. I don't know why everybody gets so tough about it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's teaching you something. If it ain't teaching nothing, then what you listen to it for? Don't listen. That's why I say, I don't make nobody listen to me that don't want to listen to me. It's a blessing to even have me in your face. Uh, in your presence. I thank you. Now, the first thing we need to ask ourselves, who was we in a, in a lifetime? First of all, thank you, Father, for breaking everybody on here. Watch over them. Watch over their families. Keep them safe and warm. Also, watch over me as I'm getting this reading. Give them what they need to hear. Thank you. Amen. God bless all y'all. We all need blessings. We all need to stick together. I send love and light to y'all. I ain't trying to do all the other stuff. Okay, let's see. What was you, what was Gemini in a, I mean not Gemini, Aries in a vast life, sorry about that. Somebody wants to talk about you, Gemini. What was Aries? Aries, what was you in the past? This hair is giving me a problem today. I need to put some press on it. <laughs> put some press on. We need to put some more press on. We need no press on. But anyway, that's, men don't need no that. Okay, hold on, y'all. Something else to Okay. Okay, Aries, and how y'all doing? Hope everybody's great. Remember, push that little button, like, subscribe. Don't play with me. Let's do it. Let's do it. Don't listen to my garbage if you don't like to. But I'm going to tell you for listening to me, I bless y'all, y'all. Because, hey, I'm here to teach you. I'm an older person. I, I want to teach people something. And then I'll talk to y'all about some more in a minute. Okay, let's get busy. What is What was um, Aries in a past life, Spirit? What was Aries in a past life? What did they do with that? In a past life, what was Aries? What in the past life was Aries? There was an angel. Somebody was an angel in a is it, well, an angel, and they still are an angel here. This Aries, this Aries is an angel sent from above. What patterns, if any, have I carried forward from my to now? Okay, what patterns do I keep keeping? That I have not changed. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, spirit. What patterns have I not changed in this past life? That says, what patterns, if any, have I ever carried forward from? What past have I not carried forward from to now? That I'm still carrying from the past. What am I still carrying from the past life? 
Let me get my other line. I want to ask one more question now. Okay. What is it caring from a past life? What is Aries caring from a past life? Or a life they're doing now that, that they did in the past life? What are they doing now? What is their assignment now concerning this? That uh, was the pattern that's to what they're supposed to be doing that they always done in the past life. What are they doing now that's similar to now? What's going on with Aries now? What did Aries do in the past life? Aries, the two cards. Some of you was a farmer. Y'all worked on the farm in a past life. That's uh, similarities that's working on now. Um, some of you are Bobix people in this life. What else? Uh, some of you are persecution and in being persecuted. And some of you are learning your vows. The thing you're learning in this life right now is your vows. You're learning about your vows and you're just learning about them. You know, you're learning more about, I will put vows is the main one. That's what I heard. The vows is the main one. You're learning in a past life that's similar to now to keep your vows. And you used to be an angel and it's carrying on to this life, but you, you're working out that. What message do my old friends have for me? Okay, let's see. message that old friends in the past have for Aries. What message do old friends in the past, in the past life, want to tell Aries? What do your old friends want to tell you, Aries, in the past life? Or if they want to tell you anything. It's hard to shuffle, y'all, but I'm trying. Okay, what do they want to tell you in the past life? What do someone in the past life want to tell Aries now at this time? What does someone in the past life want to tell Aries? What does someone in the past life want to tell Aries? What does someone in the past life want to tell Aries at this time, Spirit? What does someone want to tell Aries? None of them want to turn over. Must have got nothing to say. Anybody in the past life got some message for Aries spirit? We have this Queen of Cups in the reverse. Hold on, one thing I want to say something. I had it right in front of me too. Sorry, y'all. Okay, we're talking about the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Um, this is a person that um, someone is very um, concerned with uh, public's opinion and the looks. They want you to start. They want you to look beyond the smiles of people and start seeing people for who they really are. Aries, someone in a past life wants you to know. Start seeing people for who they really are. That's what they're saying. Ain't that crazy? So somebody in the past life wants to let you know that. They want you to start seeing people for who they really are. Instead of what you want them to be in your mind, you're not seeing them for who they are. Let's see if it's anything else. Any other messages for Aries that you, the past life, would like to tell? Why is this Queen of Swords here? I mean, Queen of Cups in reverse. What else do they want to tell Aries? Let's see. Hold on, y'all. So basically, they want you to just everything that look good ain't always good. What else do you want to tell Aries at this time, Spirit? What else in the past? They want to let you know justice. Justice is going to be coming. There's going to be karmic balancing and truth and law and order. And, you know, legal documents, harmony and balance. They said, don't worry about it. There will be justice in your life, Aries. Someone from a past life won't let you know. We're going to make sure you get justice for what? You're going to get justice. So don't think you're not. And then we have the Queen of Wands. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
there's someone, the Queen of Wands, this person here is a, a very sociable, lovable, uh, determined, high self-esteem, independent person. Um, this person is a female, as I say. They're family orientated, and this might be something to do with business. This Queen of Wands. There's a child here, which is a page of cups in reverse. This is a child, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a youth. This person resents to love, overly emotional, refusing good advice. This person is overly sensitive youth. There's someone in your life that's just overly sensitive. They take sensitive to another level, okay? But they won't let you know, Ace of Pentacles, they didn't stop nothing because you're still going to get prosperity and everything you work with. We're working with you to get your potential and good fortune. And you're, with you. and you're doing a new job, promotion, security. They want you to know you're going to be starting to, you're going to be doing a lot of different things, Aries. You're not going, you're not going to sit around there. They say you, you're going to be doing a lot. Okay. Let's see. Who do I keep going back? Why do I keep going back? Why do Aries keep going back? They want to know in the past, like, why do they keep going back to the same situation? Why is Aries always in the same situation from her past? Is into now. Why is the same situation from her past is to now? But they're trying to help you, you know, people, your, uh, people on the other side that you in other lives with. What else do they want you to know? Okay, we have the Page of Wands upright. There's a child, Aries, Leo, Sag Sagittarius. There's good news coming in business. And, you know, sociable, self-absorbent person. In family matters, there's going to be some good news going to be coming soon. So don't worry. What else? Why do I keep going back, though? Why do we keep going back? You keep going back for a child. You... you you go back to the same situation. It's a child that's always doing it. Because of insecurities, uh, eight of wands in reverse. You keep going back because of calls, jealousy, and setbacks. Wasted effort. You know, it's too little, too late for all that. And you're a little upset. Insecurities and you're a little upset because there's a lot of things ain't going your way, Aries, but there's people that's jealous of you. And it's in a past life. And that never changed. On this life, they're going to be the same. Just because it's a different person, different day, don't change. And that still is what it is. The King of Cups in the reverse. This is a mature, masculine, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person is abusive, cold-hearted, and dependency, withdrawn, and taking advantage. They like to take advantage of people. This King of Cups in reverse loves to take advantage of people. We have this Five of Swords in reverse. There's a term, this person is determination, their ending relationship, and their ending turmoil and rejection in their life. They're trying to make men's with their life, this Aries, in this life. They want to make men. They want their ten of cups in this life. They want happiness in this life. Security, family, wealth. They want they, what they got coming in this life. But every time they, they seem to get it, it always gets taken away in this life, Aries, from you. So, now... What is, um, let's see, okay, we got that you was an angel in a past life. Okay, what did you do in, as an angel in a past life? As an angel in a past life, what, would you, what did you do for people when you was an angel? What did you do for people? What was your profession in a past life? As an angel, what did you do here on earth? But that's what this person is. It's an angel reincarnated. Now this angel is doing vows and making up karma. And you're getting prosperity with people going against you. Okay, but angels in a past life, what, what did they do in a past life? King of Pentacles was that. It says... Um, this person was very financial stable, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in a past life. Um, you was more practical and more educated in a, in a past life. You was really, um, as in this angel form, you was really at what happened, what ended this person, 
the queen, okay, female, it was a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. It was a homemaker, prospered, working woman, practically health, earthly, green, living garden. This person had every little thumb here on earth. They could do a car, garden, everything when you was here in your past life, in your angel form. What else did they do in angel form? And they had a lot of achievements in this angel form because you got the four of wands. This person was very achievable. They achieved a lot of stuff. They, and there was a wedding. They was putting down the roots and planning the next step. Satisfaction. And they had peace coming. But what ended their life? How did they, what ended their life? What happened? Because somebody thought the tennis wars in reverse. They said it was a relief. The worst has passed. They had, they was having doubts and feeling liberated and new starts. So there's a lot of conflicts. Let me tell you something in the past life. It don't matter if you was an angel. I'm learning if it don't matter if you're an angel. It don't matter what you are. And people will do what they want anyway. Then that just tells you who really is religious or not. Who really is caring and who's not. There's people... They want to tear you down. You know. But I've seen here. But you've seen to pick yourself up Aries. You don't let nobody. Put you on the floor and then tell you you can't get up. You pack your bags. And you get moving. You stand up for right. You do what you got to do. Don't ever let no mule kick you in the butt. And tell you you can't move. Because I'm going to tell you something. The almighty. You got good karma coming. So whatever went down here is it's about to be over. It's time for cash in. It's time for you getting your respect to what you are. You In a past life, you help people. You have vows that you're doing in this life. You're trying to do your vows. Be honest this, with this person. Because the last fact, y'all felt that. You felt that in a past life. The one that you're, you're soulmate. Y'all y'all the ties with. Y'all felt that. Y'all couldn't keep y'all pants in y'all body. When y'all got mad... Ran over there and just slept with somebody else because this woman wasn't done no good. She was breaking it away, taking away the sex, taking away everything. So you decided to go out there and sneak. But then it just made this person have a dark side. This person in the back. See that dark side in the back? That's a sad person with a shadow. They just couldn't keep vows if they wanted to. You knew you had a young person, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is the Knight of Wands reverse. This person is very unmotivated. They're lazy. They're very bad tempered. And it was quarrelsome in this life. Someone loved to quarrel. You know, so this young person was a. Said no disrespect. There was a plum ass. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Okay. You ought to be plum ashamed of yourself. In this life, you're trying to destroy somebody. A young person is doing it. They're impatient. What else is going on here? With these vows currently they're living to. What else is going on here to make them not do their vows? Well, we got the Ten of Pentacles. We have legacy. Legacy. You are trying to build a legacy. That's what you're doing, Aries. You're trying to work on something. You're transitioning, educating, security, family, and money, family legacy, inheritance, and family traditions, and retirement. Some of you want to get the, the big life for your kids more than you want for yourself. That's what your kids think it's all about. They didn't do no. You want security in your family, but you know the thing is, not everybody gonna get it. People work hard like a dog, and it shouldn't be. You know, it just shouldn't be. It's just the way I feel about it. Now you gotta be accepting. Start accepting things. The nine of swords. You gotta face your fears. This is in reverse. Start facing your fears, Aries, and confessing and fo focus on opportunities. Looking forward, leaving grief behind, and get your bags and you step up like with your bag, like you proud of yourself. Somebody lost somebody. Now you gotta catch yourself back. And let me tell you something, that's not easy to do. You might lose everything you have to get yourself back. But let me tell you at the end of the day, it's it's a it's a start over. You're starting all over. So you gotta change your thinking and your mindset, because it's not the same. This is not the same anymore, Aries. Nothing's the same. Let's see if this person will come. What kind of person? What does this person look like that we're talking about in this past life? There was an angel. What was this angel? What did this angel look like in the past life? Let's see what you look like. 
this angel that we're talking about? What was this angel look like in the past? Like, because some people think you wouldn't know what a person looked like. It kind of helped you. In the past, like, what did this person look like when there was an angel on earth? What did they look like? An angel on earth. What did they look like? This Aries past person. What did they look like? An angel on earth. What did they look like, Spirit? Just a second, y'all. I'm trying to show y'all what they look like. It says stop. I just pull out what it tells me and I say what it, it wants me to tell y'all. Okay, what was going on with the angels here, Spirit? What's the message? What did they look like? This person that was an angel on earth, aspiration. This person looked like this. This is what he looks for. This person looked like. There was an angel on earth. Nobody recognized this person. They had no clue who this person was. They thought this person was, you know, just a person that you couldn't trust. But this person actually had better intention than the person that, that's an angel on earth. This person was an angel on earth. And that's what the similarities look like. So, now we're going about what this person looked like now that's doing these vows on earth. That this that's doing this life of the vows now. What this person look like, spirit, that we're talking about. That's learning the vows in this lifetime. They're doing the vows. What do they look like, spirit? Give them some look what they look like. Give them some kind of example so they'll know what I'm talking about. This person vows with what do they look like in this life? What is they something similar to them? What they look like? Okay, what did this person look like? They're doing vows. Okay, we have this person is precious precision. Person looks like this that you're doing vows with right now. That you're doing trying not to cheat on. Basically, the biggest thing y'all have a problem with cheat not cheating on each other. Let's see if anything the mate spirit. What did the mate look like? Give me an example of what the mate looked like here for vows possibly. And this is for everybody. So, okay, here's the mate. The mate looks like um, artfulness. This person looks artfulness. This was the person looks like that's doing vows with this person right now. They're working on their vows of not cheating on each other. That's the biggest thing in this life. Keeping those vows till death do apart. That's the hardest part they were trying to do. So. Let me tell you something. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Hey, no. Hey, I got a tone for you. Let me see. I sing in this too. Here we go, y'all. Mm -mm. mm. 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 Let me tell you something. There was always a man out there always wanting to cheat on a woman. Tell a woman you ain't nothing. <laughs> then one day you woke up and you said, hey, no, you crazy, motherfucker. I'm going to be somebody. I'm going to get my bags and I'll see your last later. And when I become what I am, you're going to be on the bottom of my toe. Ask me forgiveness. You can work for me, man. So when you think you're going to talk about me, going to put me down, put me on the street, tell me that I ain't caps, I ain't nothing beat, you got me twisted up in here. I'm going to tell you something. I love my soul, love you like anything I ever had. You was better than I ever had. And you want to turn your soul on me. Really? Come on, wake up to reality. It's time to be free and safe free and safe that's all we plan I've been working all my life trying to figure out what to do thought you was going to come and marry me and live a long time with me but we can't even keep our vows because we want to sleep with every D in the street no I ain't one of those hoes in the street you're going to make up your mind what you want you want me or you want to get the dough that's the way it is I, I, I done been through it all I done seen all kinds of bull crap come through the door and now it's time for it to go back I want a refund. I will refuse. And you better learn this. You go through years in life with a cheater. You go through somebody that cheat on you, take your soul and make you hate them. But literally, you feel sorry for them. Because now it's over. Now they're going to have to watch you do what they, what they did to you. That's how that works. Payback's a motherfucker. And don't excuse the interest of the language. On this channel, I'm going to say what I want sometimes. Everybody else doing what they want. On time, it ain't no disrespect nobody. It's just on no caps. I'm just being real, Larry. Snap out of that. No. 
no, 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 no. So I'm saying no. That's the key lie. Everybody wants you for this. Everybody think you're going to be the nice little wife and kick up the sheep and tell everybody you're going to love them forever. No, you're going to wake up and rake that walk out that door and do the right things and take care of yourself. Stop worrying about the world. The world don't owe you nothing, but you owe yourself. That's true facts. But anyway, that's just something to tell y'all what's up. Now, who's coming towards Aries? I got to cut this short. Let me, let me get I've been on it too long. But thank y'all. I got to cut out of here. But I love y'all. Let's send love and light to y'all. Next time. Bye. Like and subscribe. Stop playing.